just presented in a dedicated hotline session for the results of not only the Deliver trial, but also the pooled analysis of Deliver and DAPHF, and finally, a meta-analysis of the totality of evidence. So in terms of the meta-analyses, we first conducted a dedicated, pre-specified meta-analyses of the two largest trials of heart failure with mildly reduced or preserved ejection fraction, that is Deliver or Emperor Preserved, encompassing 12,251 participants. This meta-analysis was pre-specified and pre-registered in a specific protocol. We found that the SGLT2 inhibitors, dapagliflozin and empagliflozin, significantly reduced the primary outcome of cardiovascular death or heart failure hospitalization by 20%, and this reduction was driven by both components of the primary outcome. In addition, we found that both therapies similarly improved health-related quality of life, including patient symptoms, and prevented deterioration in patient burden of symptoms. We then took a step back and meta-analyzed a larger cohort of participants, those across the entire range of ejection fraction, across the five cardiovascular outcome trials that have been conducted in heart failure, including adjacent populations of heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, that is the DAPA-HF and emperor reduced trials, and a trial of worsening heart failure, that is soloist worsening heart failure. In this meta-analysis, we found that the SGLT2 inhibitors in patients with heart failure across a broad range of ejection fraction reduced the primary outcome by 23%, and had not only improvements in heart failure events, but actually showed significant reductions in cardiovascular death and all-cause mortality. And so really the uh, summary of those two meta-analyses are that these drugs uh, should be really foundational in the management of patients with heart failure, irrespective of ejection fraction, irrespective of care setting. And we now have deliver as one of the final pieces of the puzzle completing the evident base of evidence base for in the treatment of heart failure. None of the individual trials were individually powered for assessment of mortality. They were all assessing a composite endpoint of cardiovascular death and worsening heart failure events. And so when pooling these data across the 20,000 participants, we do see a statistically significant reduction in all-cause mortality of about 8%. And uh, this, again, was statistically significant with a p-value of 0 0.025.